Okay, so it's time for another binder update. And as you can see, my binder has gotten quite thick. And now, my last binder update was maybe a week or two ago. So, obviously, I'm not going to read off to you the names of everyone in here. So, get an idea of the pictures. You know, comment with the names of people you want to know. Oh, yeah, I don't have it front to back on this. You can pause the video if you need to get a better look at something. Um, if there's a card you'd like me to, you know, take pictures of or upload or something like that. But not a problem. I could do that for you. Um, I'm going to say this in every single one of my videos. Um, when you view my video, go to the description that's on the bottom of this video. And use my referral web address to go th to swagbucks.com. It works. Trust me. Um, as I said in my last video, I'm going to be uploading a video of exactly how it works. Um, it's you right now, basically, you know, you fill out like free surveys or I don't even like to do the free surveys actually, to be honest with you, it's, it's boring and it's time consuming. So what I like to do is they actually have a game section with kind of like, um, free online games. You know, everybody played that as a kid. If you're my age, I'm 17. You know, everybody played like free online games and addictinggames.com and stuff like that. So it's kind of like that, except you, in a way, get paid. This is, by the way, this is a, a, a gold rare um, called The Haunted. Um, you actually get paid to play these games, and you get paid with swag bucks. And what swag bucks are is you can take them. And you can redeem them for things such as gift cards to Amazon.com. And that's uh, basically how I'm going to be, you know, getting more of my cards. Because I'm going to be getting gift cards. And I'm going to be, you know, buying a bunch of cards off Amazon. And spending my money frivolously like an idiot. But, yeah, they're gift cards and they're free. Um, so, yeah, you could do that just like I'm doing. And build up your collection. Um... Christmas is right around the corner, so, you know, my, my, you know, my collection is going to be pretty big, I mean, big is, and plus, I've, I've got more inside this chest thing, and this, this isn't even all of it, so, but, yeah, just use my referral, I get swag books, as well as you do, when you sign up with using my referral, I mean, I started off yesterday with no swag books, and I got online today, and I now have 105 swag bucks. So I mean, you it it you build up swag bucks quickly. It doesn't. It's not one of those things where it's time consuming. It goes by real quickly. I mean, you watch um, the first 30 seconds of 10 music videos, and boom, that's like five or six swag bucks. I mean, really, really quickly it goes by. And um, you get swag bucks for logging on each day. I mean, if you go a full month of logging on, that's like 300 swag bucks. And it's 450 swag bucks for a um, $5 gift card to Amazon.com. So, I mean, it's really, really well worth it. I mean, I, I, I in the past, I looked at it and was like, eh, it's, this is gay. I don't really want to do this. And then I was like, I tried it out and I was like, damn. So, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to save up at least 60,000 swag bucks. Yes, it seems like a lot, but I get a $500 gift card to Amazon.com. And you know what that means? I'm going to be, you know, getting a case, you know, 12 boxes of some booster boxes. So, I mean, I want you guys to send me messages and subscribe and stuff and tell me what you'd like for me to buy a case of or individual booster boxes of to see what is in the boxes. So, yeah. Just going through my cards. They're still on my trap cards. So, I mean, this is going to take a while. I don't, I don't expect this to be a short thing. But, yeah, this is a binder update.
you're interested in any of these cards. I mean, if you want to buy the whole binder, I'll probably do the whole binder for, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks. And I mean, there's multiples of these cards in each slot for a majority of them. I mean, this ranges from commons all the way up to super and ultra rares in here. There's even a gold rare in here. So, I mean, there's a lot. Um, I also have another small binder I'm going to show you after I'm done with this one. Those, I'll read the names off to you because they're kind of hard to see because those are ultimate and secret rares. And we are done with my trap cards. On to the water cards. I have the, these arranged in what type they are along with the element. So these are all fish, aqua, sea serpent. So. I mean, these are all ranging from LOB. I mean, original, original packs from 2002 all the way up to present. I mean, these cards are all mint condition at that. I mean, there might be some that are played because I used to duel when I was like 7 and I was real into Yu-Gi-Oh! But, I mean, that's like maybe... 10 out of the hundreds of cards that are in here. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it if we were close to at least a little over a thousand cards in here. So, 70 bucks for a thousand cards? Come on. How many play sets is that? Look at that, honest. I want him and Go in, in Ghost Rare. That, that card, Ghost Rare, it is so hot. I mean, I'm a collector. I look at value cards. I'm not really looking at a dueling standpoint on what cards are good or not. I really lost interest in dueling um, when I got to high school. Um, so, I have no clue which cards are the best. I mean, this could be the best card out of the entire set, and I wouldn't even know. So, yeah, I'm just I'm into the, more into the collecting aspect and the value of the cards. Because I'm going to college in a couple months, and I need some money, so I'm... Um, Collecting. Yes, I know it seems like a dumb reason to to be collecting cards and putting all this money into it, but it pays off. I mean, I went down, um, you can watch one of my other videos, I went down to a store with uh, like 13, 14 cards out of one of my binders, and I walked out with, uh, well, I didn't walk out with 68 bucks, but I got 68 bucks for it, and I bought the Return of the Duelist uh, booster box and a Gold Series 5, um, or a Gold Series Haunted Mine. Um, little, one of those little 25 card packets, one of those little box things, um, one of these, let me show you, yes, I keep all my boxes, it's just the thing I do, I bought one of these, um, so, I mean, it came with an MST, I'll show you my MST, I've got some cards coming in the mail, I just bought, you know, I, I'm, I'm really into the collective aspect of it. And plus, whatever I don't sell, I'll just pass it on to my kids. It's, it's a cool thing. You know, I enjoyed it as a kid. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. I mean, I just got back into watching all the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, series. Yes, I know it sounds nerdy, but if you're watching this video, you obviously like Yu-Gi-Oh! Or you're just going to be a troll in comments and you're like, oh, you're a faggot. <laughs> so, whatever. But we're getting close to the end of this binder. Thank God. Hope you guys have been paying attention to this more than you have my talking. I'm just talking to make time seem like it's going by. But once again, if you want the entire binder, I'll be more than happy to sell it to you. Um, that it's, I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to look through it and honestly price out everything and then get back to you on a price of it itself. Going on to our last couple of pages here. And I mean, if you want to wait until after the holidays, and I've got this binder filled, I mean, this isn't even full. I mean, like, if you want to see this thing filled, I will be filling it up with more most likely only commons because I have other binders for my 
um, ones of higher rarities, but I don't really consider the super rares and the ultra rares uh, to be that high of a rarity just because they come in a lot of packs for booster boxes and stuff. I mean, the ratios are ridiculous now for the super rares and stuff. I mean, you got packs that come with a secret rare in each pack, so... I don't know, I don't really consider super rares and ultra rares to be that high of value. But, you know, you get into secret rare, ultimate rare, and stuff like that. That's that's value. But, hey, someone might be seeing something in the value that I'm not seeing. I mean, there's a lot of cards that are really rare that only come in, you know, super rare. And are out of print that are only printed up to, like, ultra rare and stuff like that. I mean, those cards I'm definitely interested in getting, but... For those cards now that are just getting reprinted after reprinted in each set that they have no correspondence in, uh, there's I see no point in getting those. But obviously you can't help it if you buy like a booster box or something. Um, also, I'm interested in completing my Return of the Duelist, um, my Return of the Duelist uh, set. I have a lot of the cards. I believe I'm only missing. Um, 40 out of the 93 or 99 so I mean I, I got a lot of them or a majority of them in my uh, the only, in the first booster box I bought of them probably gonna be buying two more booster boxes just cuz I got some really great pulls I'm also gonna be buying a couple booster boxes of uh, Crossroads of Chaos and Hidden Arsenal cuz I got a lot of cards I mean the Vylons that, that you find in that series that are secret rares are worth a lot of money, like they're worth big bucks. I got, uh, I sold three of them and got like 30 bucks, it was crazy. Alright, so now that this big guy's done, let's look at this guy. Yes, my my terrible drawing skills, yeah, or the secret rare, because at the time it was full of secret rares. So let's look at our ultimates. So we got Silver Sentinel, Overmind Dark Fiend. Dangerous Machine Type 6, Fusion Devourer, those four ultimates. Um, I kind of got these going in order. So I got Jirak Titanus and Jirak Titano, or Tyrannus and Jirak Titano, Seeker Rares. Um, Elemental Hero Voltic and Elemental Hero Dark Neos. I got number 34 Terabyte and number 6 Chronomaly Atlantis. Um, I believe this one's going up for trade with um, Cyber Knight 8160 I think that's his, uh, his YouTube name. I'm not sure he hasn't messaged me back yet, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, Worm Zero, Geogenics, Secret Rares. Oh, this is Secret Rares, so I'm not even going to... Yeah. Um, Hero Flash. You actually see the... Yeah. Um, what does that say? Great... Green Baboon, Defender of the Forest. Um, Gladiator Beast Laquari. Photon Sanctuary. Mott. That's like my third Mott. Um, General um, Grun Grunard of the Ice Barrier. My Dark Magician Girl, my baby. This is my pride and joy right here, this card. This is, uh, um, if I was to sell it, It'd be for 35 because it has gone up from 25 two months ago. It was at 25, now it's up to 35. So uh, it was a good choice buying it for 25 when I got it. But I'm going to be selling it for 35, so don't think you're getting it for any cheaper if you're interested. Um, I mean, we could probably work something out, but yeah. Uh, like money in a card. But Rosa Rosaria, the Stately Fallen Angel. The Six Samurai Nasashi, this is not secret rare, this is actually ultra rare, but I thought it was pretty cool looking, and it's my only Six Samurai, so I figured why not. Um, Zarian Universe, or Xarian Universe, um, Mist Valley Shaman, um, Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, this is not with my other Elemental Heroes because I got this a week ago, um, so I haven't really to have the, had the time to put him with um, the other ones. Or this guy, but and then I have two gold rare Barados. Um, these guys, um, I don't really know what I want to do with them. They're probably, they, I mean, all these cards are up for trade except for that um, Dark Magician Girl. Um, and then Elemental Hero, Thunder Giant, 
he is parallel rare. I don't know how well you can see it, but he is a normal parallel rare. So, I mean, he's really not worth any money, but I like the normal parallels because they look kind of cool. And then, let me get out my MST. Alright, I'll just pull out this picture. There you go. Yep. Gold Ghost Ray Hybrid card. Actually, I'll take him all the way out. Just for you guys. This guy literally has only been out of this out of this plastic once. And that was when I pulled him out of the um out of the haunted mine um box it came in. So I mean you guys are lucky that I'm pulling this out for you guys. This card is mint condition. Mint. Nothing wrong, no edge wear, no corner wear. I mean, it is beautiful. This card right now is going for, like, I saw it online, like, five minutes ago. Swear on my life. For 15 bucks. So, it, you better be offering me something pretty, pretty spiffy for that. But, alright, so once again, like, rate, subscribe. Go hit me up on Swag Bucks. Um... Any questions, comments, concerns, any way I can improve my videos without you being a total douchebag about it, um, I'm more than willing to get your opinion. Thanks, and have a great day.